In the past three months, police officials in Houston have shot three different unarmed people. Uh, the last situation involved a mentally ill double amputee man on a wheelchair, and this happened last Saturday. Apparently, he posed a threat to police officials because he was waving a pen around. So uh, one of the police officials uh, decided to shoot him, and it was a fatal shooting. Is he in a wheelchair? He's in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair, he's a double amputee, he's missing part of his leg and a full arm, okay? He was unarmed, all he had was a pen, and he was mentally ill to boot. Uh, all right, uh, look, it's a serious story, and so I can't, the cops, now look, some people say, look, we're too tough on the cops, and cops have a dangerous job, and I get it, and you can't nitpick, and you can't micromanage every moment of the day, you don't know what that guy was through, et cetera. But come on, this is what we're talking about. This isn't nitpicking. The dude, first of all, the dude's in a wheelchair. Now, he can have a gun in a wheelchair, right? But just look at him for about half a second before you shoot. I mean, you couldn't tell that he's missing an entire arm? That it was a pen instead of a gun? I mean, did you not see him at all? Or are you Mr. Magoo and you couldn't, like, let alone missing a part of his leg? There's got to be bounds of reason. So Matthew uh, Marin was the name of the police officer who shot him. He's a five-year Houston Police Department veteran. What I don't understand is what kind of training do these police officials get? And I understand, you know, we have some cops that watch the show, and they do say that we're too tough on the cops, right? But in situations like this, what are you supposed to do? Stand back and say, oh, well, he's a cop, he's got a tough job, and he did what he had to do. No, the guy is unarmed, he's mentally ill, and he's a double amputee. You have to use a little bit of judgment. Are you really that scared of a pen? Is that you really thought the pen posed a threat, or did you just want to end the situation without really doing anything? No, look, I, I, I got to think that for almost any cop, a shooting's a pretty serious situation. I got to think that he obviously didn't think that it was a pen. He thought it was a, a gun. Otherwise, why get yourself in trouble, right? All that being said, you still got to exercise more caution. He's in a wheelchair. He's missing several limbs. No, no, that goes to show that you're, I mean, literally too trigger happy, you know, that you went in there guns blazing to s some degree. And obviously, look, we're not the ultimate judge here and jury. They're going to look at all the facts in the case. They're going to hopefully make a, you know, a, a decision based on the full facts, et cetera. But this is what we talk about when we talk about the too much tasers, too. Like the, and the tasers are worse than the guns in the sense that they tase first, ask questions later. Right, because it's a non-lethal non weapon. So they right. think, well, whatever, I'll tase them. It's not a big deal. It'll, it'll subdue them, and that's all that I need to do. But in a lot of cases, it has been a lethal weapon. Right, and in this case, it's a gun, so it's way over the top to shoot first and find out later that the guy is a double amputee.